and this is Baby Love. We're from Things I Didn't Teach Me in High School. Today we're going to talk about how to do laundry. This is my least favorite adulting task, but it's a necessary evil. So let's get started. Step one, you want to take a look at the labels on your new clothes before you wash them. For example, this shirt, relatively new, I've never washed it before. Take a quick look, it says, use non-chlorine bleach only. I have chlorine bleach, which I probably would have used on this shirt and destroyed it. I paid $50 for the shirt, so I essentially would have been throwing away 50 bucks. So always just make sure to take the time and check the labels on your clothes. Step two is to separate your clothing based on weight and color. Here I have my heavy fabrics, which would be jeans and towels. Then I have my medium fabrics here. These are my dark and these are my light. And then I have my delicates. If you do not have a large enough pile of delicates and you do have a delicates bag, you can put them in, zip it up, throw it in with your regular laundry and they'll be protected. Just make sure that you do not put your delicates into the dryer. Because I love charts, we have created charts that you can reference in order to separate your clothes based on color and material. Next up, you want to fill the washer with your dirty clothes. You want it to be about 75% full. You need to have room for the water, and if it is over full, it can become unbalanced. A good rule to go by for a front loader is you want to be able to put your fist above the laundry that you already have in here. Now that it's filled up, we can start putting in our soaps, our bleach, and our softeners. With our front load washer, I'm gonna fill the detergent to the maximum line because we have a large load. If it were medium size, I would fill it to the normal, and if it were small, I would fill it just below the normal line. As far as the bleach and the softener goes, I like to read the back of the bottle to determine how much I need to put in based on the size of the load that I'm washing. Next up is setting the washing machine. For this load, we have medium weight clothes that are colored. I like setting all of mine to delicate and I like to make sure that it's cold. The only time you ever want to wash your clothing in hot water is if it is white and they are extremely dirty and smelly. Next we want to move the stuff from the washer into the dryer. I recommend that you do this before you go to bed. You want to make sure that you put it in the dryer before the day is over or else you're going to wake up in the morning, open the washing machine and it's going to smell like mildew, in which case you should wash it again. Now we're going to take the stuff from the washer, put it in the dryer. And if you did not use any fabric softener, I would recommend throwing in a dryer sheet. One of the most important things that we need to remember before we start another load in the dryer is to always empty the lint trap. Lint is extremely combustible and is a common cause for house fires. So you just pull it out. Wow, there's a lot. And take it all off. Stick it back in and we're gonna throw this away. Before starting your dryer, make sure you've taken out all of the items that don't need to be dried, such as your delicates bag. Now we're gonna move on to the settings. There's high heat and then low heat. I always do low heat because it causes the least amount of damage to your clothing. So what we're gonna do is move it from off to more dry under the low heat setting. And then we're gonna press the power button and we're gonna let it dry. Once your stuff is done in the dryer, make sure to take it out as soon as possible in order to prevent wrinkles from setting in. Do not throw your laundry on your bed or else animals such as cats will lay on it because it's super warm and it's gonna get covered in fur like all of our clothes. However, now that it is done, it is dried, you're gonna put it away, we are finished. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments, suggestions, tips, please leave them in the section below and have a great day.